welcome back to my channel you guys so since everybody is talking about making a change in society and everybody's talking about voting how about we actually do something that's going to impact somebody right next to us type of thing so when i was growing up personally my mom was a single mother so there were a lot of times especially i remember her saying that during the recession she wasn't able to get by so she needed these places to help us out in these hard times and so she would go to like churches and she would go to like um places that would give out free food that would give out like cereal beans um and whatever they were able to give out um so this video will give you a small tiny and brief a lot of people for some reason are embarrassed to like say that they once upon a time needed help or that they do need help but thank god there are places that are helping out people who need food and who aren't able to provide for themselves and their family during the pandemic because our jobs are not stable anymore. Some people are losing their jobs. Some people are getting um, their hours cut and a lot of shit is going on. So thank God to the Chicago Food Depository that they are actually giving a lot of people food and it's a lot of food. So I had no idea what I was getting myself into. My boyfriend was like, haha, you <laughs> I'm going to make fun of you during the whole fucking time because it's kind of like upbeat and you're going to sweat a little. And I was like, all right, I'm ready. What, what, you think I ain't got no working skills or what? I'm a very good worker, I feel. I feel like when it comes down to it, I do it. Um, but yeah, I was there from 1 o'clock to 3.45, from like 1 to 2 or from like 1 to 1.45, 1.30. They were just explaining to us basically what was gonna happen they were like splitting us in groups they would make us wash our hands put our net apron blah 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 and they would take us to a station i ended up getting a station where i just had to package pasta so you would grab these bags i'm gonna show you guys you would grab these bags you would have to weigh them out for two pounds and then um then you would put them on the side and then somebody would grab them and they would collect our pasta put a labor over it and then collect 12 of them and put them in a box once the box is ready to go they just seal it and then put it aside um beautiful it wasn't hard at all so i suggest people do it it's a workout you definitely definitely feel good about yourself after you're like okay bitch i just you know did some things for the society you know at the end they actually ended up telling us how much pasta we had packaged and i believe it was like two thousand pounds of pasta so like i said each box has 12 packages of two pound pasta so it was like 90 something boxes i don't know but I heard it was a good number. They were pretty proud. Or maybe they just make everybody feel proud every time they go. But I was like, okay, bitch, we did something today. I'm going to continuously do it. Um, my boyfriend's almost done with community service hours. So I really, 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 truly hope that we don't stop going. It's something to do when there's nothing to do. So you know when there's like nothing to do and you're just like in your head and you're just thinking negative shit? Get your ass in there and do something positive. It's going to save you yourself and it's gonna save somebody else from being hungry so there is a win-win situation in this situation so get to it go sign up get to that website at like 10 uh shifts i just ate and now i'm like so i have to go though <laughs> He said since I'm always talking about losing weight and being healthy and being active to take my ass and volunteer so I can work out and help people at the same damn time. It's funny so I got a story for y'all. So he went in that bitch because so he went to volunteer because he needs community service hours. Um, and so he goes inside and he told me he asked like a guy. He's like, so how many hours you need? And the guy's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, how many hours do you need? And he was just like, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I think my boyfriend's like the only one who went to go get his hours. Everybody's just like literally volunteering. And well, that is, that's crazy. It's crazy because people actually like volunteer in their own terms. And I think that's cool as hell. He says that there's like old ladies and a guy in a wheelchair and stuff like that. You know, like motherfuckers that talk about go vote. Bitch, they're going to do whatever the fuck they want anyways. Trump and Biden are going to do whatever the fuck they want. Um, But yeah, so yeah, wear some comfortable clothes, wear sweatpants, wear a long sleeve. Um, My boyfriend told me to wear a long sleeve. I didn't really think it was necessary, but since there's different stations, I guess 
it would just be better if he wore a long sleeve. He says that he cuts his forearm. And what else? Yeah, you can take your lunch. They'll give you like a break in between shifts. Um, so you don't have to starve. There's a fridge. Super nice place. Super nice people. But you know, I'm anti-social a little. So I'm like dodging everybody. Give us the courage to be more for our community because of you and Mira su hija. 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 Mira su um, it motivates you to go back. I'm for sure gonna go back. I'm gonna go back maybe the 11th. Not maybe the 11th. I'm already signed up, so I got no choice. But I'm gonna like it. Hopefully, I do get another um, task to do. Hopefully, it's not just pasta because I want to see what everything else is about. Um, the next little footage that I'm gonna be showing is what my boyfriend was doing because I've only been there once. He's been there like for two weeks, nine to one. No, wait, nine to three. Um, he's been there for three weeks. He's been doing it for two weeks, two and a half, whatever. I don't know. Wow. Apparently, everywhere they're like packaging different stuff. So they package apples here and then pasta over there. Wow. Wow. Pero que todo es esto? Comida? Comida. Wow, this is all food. Thank you. Yeah, I know. He's like, you want me to show you? I was like, sure. Cool. Wow, this is a lot. Okay. <laughs> wow. ¿Qué es eso, atún? See what that is. I can't believe it. Well, whoever wants to volunteer, you guys are able to. You guys go online and sign up. Make an account and sign up. And you can cancel if you're not able to make it, but obviously you have to do it days before. And yeah, you got medium green lime beans, pasta. ¿Qué es esto? I have no idea. Vegetables, sliced apples, refried beans. Let me take a little can home real quick. Sweet and sour sauce for your. For your um what is it called egg rolls potatoes I'm not sure what this is more beans
see all that food. All that food needs to be packaged. And if people like me and you do not volunteer, then how is that food going to get to the people who need it? To the babies who are hungry, to the me's, the little me's who used to be me type of thing. Does that even make sense? That don't make sense, does it? There's a lot of people, man. It could be you next that needs another meal and is going to a church or one of these places to get a box to eat. Um, so just go, go volunteer if you ain't doing shit and you're sitting on your ass okay okay as important as it is to vote and people are like it's important to vote it's important to vote what about these things what about what about it affecting your community you know what i'm saying like i don't know voting is voting but if you can do something for the next motherfucker literally right next door what you waiting for well, I appreciate you guys watching me blab my motherfucking mouth out, you know? So if you guys enjoy watching me and me talking shit and blabbing my motherfucking mouth out, just put a, a thumbs up, you know, so it can motivate me to post more videos. Obviously, if I see people are commenting and, like, liking and, like, subscribing, I get happy and then I feel good and then I fucking make more videos. So if you guys enjoy, please don't forget. Yes, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm sorry, mother, um, that I'm cursing so much. But what can I say, man? This is me. This is me. Sorry, ma.